Howdy! Welcome to this tutorial on creating a subgrid geoid file. First, I'd like to talk about what a geoid is. While we often think of the Earth as a sphere, our planet is actually very bumpy and irregular. The radius at the equator is larger than at the poles due to the long-term effects of the Earth's rotation. And, at a smaller scale, there is topography. Mountains have more mass than a valley, and thus the pull of gravity is regionally stronger near mountains. All of these large and small variations to the size, shape, and mass distribution of the Earth cause slight variations in the acceleration of gravity, or the strength of gravity's pull. These variations determine the shape of the planet's liquid environment. If one were to remove the tides and currents from the ocean, it would settle onto a smoothly undulating shape, rising where gravity is high, sinking where gravity is low. This irregular shape is called the geoid, a surface which defines a zero elevation. Using complex math and gravity readings on land, surveyors extend this imaginary line through the continents. This model is used to measure the surface elevations with a high degree of accuracy. To create a geoid subgrid file, I'll be using TBC version 5.70 once you have your project open, go to the Survey tab. Under the Survey tab, look for the Network ribbon. You will see a Geoid Subgridding option. Select it. A pane will open on the right-hand side with all of the geoids currently supported in TBC 5.7. You can scroll down to your geoid. I will be using Geoid 18 Conus. Select it and select create subgrid. Now you will select your location and you can name this specific geoid file. I'm going to name this Southeast Texas because that is where I'm currently located. And you can see the size of the geoid file, 33 megabytes. This is the unique usefulness of geoid subgrids is that they're smaller than the master file and they fit nicely on data collectors. Select save. This will take you to the file explorer where all the geoids are kept under the C drive program data Trimble geodata. You can select save and now you should see your subgridded geoid file on the right hand side pane. You've successfully created a subgrid geoid file and you're ready to push this to the data collector. If you run into any issues, reach out to your local dealer or Trimble representative. Thank you for tuning in.